Hi, I'm going to teach you how to make a buffer. Um, and let me just say, I'm impressed. Um, this is, is, is advanced for you to be making a buffer. So I have some steps for you to follow how to make a buffer. First, I want you to choose the acid conjugate base pair that's pKa is closest to the pH that you want, okay? Um, second, you're going to use henderson Hasselbalch. Uh, the calculation to figure out the ratio of acid to conjugate base. Okay, step three, you need to calculate both the mass and or volume um, of the acid and conjugate base pair uh, that you need to get the ratio that we calculated from number two. Okay, um, so how much exactly do I need? This is the ratio, but now I need to know, well, what's the volume? What's the mass of my acid and conjugate base? Um, and then lastly, once you have the amounts, you just measure out the volume or the masses, put them together, and you are going to have um, your acid conjugate base pair together in a buffer. All right, um, so here's my example. Let's pretend that we want 500 mils of a buffer that has a pH of five. Okay, so with that, I chose to use the acetic acid and um, acetate ion as my acid conjugate base pair uh, because it's pKa is 4.74. That's really close to a five. Um, and these are the supplies that I have in my lab. I have a 0.1 molar solution of acetic acid and I have a lot of that, okay? Not a big deal. I have a lot of 0.1 molar acetic acid. Um, and then I have a bottle of uh, sodium acetate and I have a lot of that sodium acetate, okay? And I put down here my uh, molar mass of that sodium acetate. Okay, uh, so that's what I have. And now I have to start doing some calculations. Um, so notice, step one, done. I chose the acid-base pair that's pKa is really, really close to the pH. Um, now, if you're not sure how to do that, um, I want you to um, go to my acid-base equilibrium playlist. And I want you to watch the um, how to choose a buffer. Okay, how to choose a buffer. Um, this is how to make a buffer. That's how to choose the buffer. Okay, so step two, we're going to use henderson hasselbalch to figure out, well, if I want a pH of five, what ratio do I need of that acid-base uh, conjugate pair? So here we have it, pH equals pKa plus the log of the conjugate base over the acid. Okay, what do I know? I know I want a pH of five. My pKa, remember this is just looking at the Ka of the acid, taking the negative log. Ka of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. Um, do the negative log and that gives me 4.74. Plus the log of, okay, this is gonna be my ratio, conjugate base over acid. That's what I'm trying to find right there is the ratio. Let's go ahead and subtract 4.74 from both sides. And we are going to get 0 0.26 equals log of conjugate base over acid. Now, how do I get rid of a log? Base 10. So I raise both of these to base 10. That's going to undo my log. And we get 10 to the 0.26. That equals 1.82. 1.82. Equals, here's my ratio, conjugate base over acid. So I'm gonna put a one. That 1 1.82 is understood to be over one. There's my ratio. For every one mole of acid, I need 1.82 moles of that conjugate base. Okay, so step two, done. We found the ratio. Now step three, this is where I take what I have and I get this ratio, okay? This is the physical tactile part of I'm going to make this. So this is what I think is easiest. Take your solution and that's where you begin. So I said in my cupboards, I have a ton of acetic acid, okay? So I have this 0.1 molar acetic acid um, and I want, it, I want 500 mils. So I'm like, okay, great. I'm going to get 500 mils of my 0.1 molar acetic acid. Um, and I want to figure out, well, how many moles are in that, right? Because I've got to figure out this ratio. This is what I'm starting with. So I'll take my 500 mils of acetic acid and figure out the moles inside of that. Um, so we've got 0.1 mole per liter of my acetic acid. And we need 500 mils of this. 
just divide that by a thousand and it's going to give us 0.5 liters. So multiply and we have 0 0.05 moles of the acetic acid. Okay, there are my moles. So I have 500 mils of this and there's 0 0.05 moles. Let's just do a ratio. 1.82 of the base for every one. Well, my acid is 0 0.05. That's what I have in this beaker of 500 mils. I have 0 0.05. So my question is, how many moles of the base, that conjugate base, do I need? Just do a cross multiply and x equals 0.91. Let me make sure I did that right. 0 0.091. Yeah, that seemed kind of large to me, sorry. 0 0.091. Now, notice, if I took 0 0.091 divided by 0 0.05, guess what? It's 1.82 over 1. So, if I have this beaker with 500 mils of 0.1 molar acetic acid, I know inside of this are floating 0 0.05 moles of the acid. So, if I can add 0 0.091 moles of the conjugate base inside that mixture, that solution, I'll have a buffer oh, woo, with a pH of five, like that. So now I have to figure out, well, I need this many moles of the conjugate base, the C2H3O2 minus, that acetate ion. I've got to add that many moles. Okay, well, I have a solid. I have this little bottle of sodium acetate. So let's figure out um, the mass of the acetate ion if we've got the 0.091 moles. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this just to get a little bit more room for us. Okay, so now I need uh, that 0 0.091. 0 0.091 moles of acetate ion, 3,2,O2. That's what I need. Now, be careful on this. I don't have just pure acetate ion, nobody does. This is a salt, it has sodium acetate. So notice what I'm going to do here. One mole of the acetate ion is in one mole of sodium acetate, 2C3O2. Notice there's one of the acetate ion right there for every one mole of the sodium acetate. Now I can bring this to grams, one mole of the sodium acetate has a mass of 82.04 grams. So moles of acetate cancels, moles of sodium acetate, and we're going to be left with grams of sodium acetate. Let me write this up here so you can see it, just so there's no confusion. Okay, so multiply, and that is going to give us 747 had to read my handwriting. Sometimes that's hard. <laughs> Grams of sodium acetate. Nice. Okay, so here we have it. We are going to take 500 mils of a 0.1 molar acetic acid that has 0.05 moles um, floating in it. I'm going to weigh out 7.47 grams of sodium acetate, pour that in here, stir it up, and that just made a buffer. Inside of here are the 0.05 moles of the acetic acid um, and the 0.09 moles of the acetate ion. Um, and remember, that is a 1 to 1.82 mole uh, ratio right here. And that's the ratio I need to have a pH of 5 buffer. So it's those four steps. There you have it. Those four steps. Go slow. Think your way through it and do it at least twice. Double check yourself and you'll be good to go. All right, nice work. Thank you.